justice is finally served. Um, first, I want to say rest in peace to George Floyd. Uh, my condolences to his family and anybody in his family that that has been affected by this man. Uh, first, I want to, you know, I want to say congratulations to us, man. You know, all fifty states protested. Every like every single big state was involved with protesting and voices finally heard, man. And normally, you know, with the with the color like ours, man, it don't like cases like this, we we are always on the wrong side of things, you know. So I definitely wanted to say thank you, you know, for those making him guilty. Like for finally being on our side and you know, and what he was accounted for for all he was charged for all three accounts. So I think the first he was uh, second degree unintentional murder, uh, third degree murder, and second degree manslaughter. And it was just nasty where you see on the news that that uh, so many people were making so many excuses as to how he died. Talking about he had asthma or he had previous health conditions, like, fuck all that, man, like, we saw blatantly on camera of him killing that man in front of all of us without, without a care in the world, you know what I'm saying, so, you know, I do, you know, so, justice has been served, thank God, and, you know, it's not, you know, it's not much really we can say about this now, you know, we definitely are proud that they made the right decision, and that uh that white lady, she next. She's next. But one step at a time, you know, so and trying to figure out, you know, if you know, what if we had a camera on George Zimmerman if he would be in prison? Or what you know, forget that. What if this had gone differently? This had gone another way to where he was found innocent. Like we was, we was damn near gonna burn this bitch down. But thank God it went our way. But um, I do want to say this though: the death of you know, twenty twenty was absolutely crazy. Like with all the protesters and the looter in the looting and. So many things that was happening last year with the corona, like everybody had to stay inside because of the corona, everything shut down. And then the death the death of George Floyd brought everybody outside. So it was just a real, you know, real crazy change of events, but you know, our voices was heard. Finally. You know, it took longer than you know than I expected, you know, for them to come to a decision and for them to have a case about this but you know justice is served and hey ain't nothing you know said about that man thank you know thank you thank you rest in peace rest in peace George Floyd